Now this is part four, Black Pope excerpts in red. So, Phelps, uh, Martin asks Phelps, Rick Martin asks Phelps, uh, is Great Britain truly Protestant controlled, Jewish controlled, or Jesuit controlled? Phelps says, Jesuit controlled. Martin says, why? Let's go back to the Nap Napoleonic Wars. The Jesuits, remember, had finished the high rites of Freemasonry with uh, Frederick the Great, then used their French Freemason Napoleon to execute their vengeance. So, okay, so the Jesuits are now protected by King George III. Well, they're going to uphold his throne. The Jesuits used the English army and the navy in the resistance of Napoleon as both sides are controlled so that the Jesuits can control the outcome. They've always had. Uh, they, can, they fund both sides and they control both sides in every war. Napoleon is then ordered to abandon his army in the snows of Russia, killing all of those French and German patriots so that there are very few patriots left in Europe to resist the tyranny coming to France with Louis the uh, 10, 5, 6, 7, 18th, uh, who the Jesuits will pull back on the throne, put back on the throne. Louis the 18th was in exile in England and King George who okay, I'm going right to the red in 1795 right around there that the Jesuits have controlled England all throughout the 18th century now England will never go to war with France again uh, when Rothschild sent that note via roost uh, into London saying that the Napoleon had won the Battle of Waterloo it was when the stocks plummeted and all the Jesuits bought all the stocks up and they're in, they're in London and got control of the Bank of England. The Jesuits then made London their commercial center of the world and Rome their religion center aiming that one day Jerusalem would be both. Cool. British Empire to further the power of the Pope. Uh, England was uh, had been under Rome's rule uh, the Pope's control since the very latest 1850. I say since 1795. Let's talk about Queen Elizabeth II. Elizabeth is a wicked, evil queen. She is the head of the Knights of Malta in England, says Phelps. Uh, she curtsies to the Lord Mayor, Major of Old England, and she goes and visits the Jesuits in Sto uh, Stonyhurst and kisses their derrieres. She has complete allegiance to the Jesuits of Stonyhurst and will do anything they tell her to do or they'll get rid of her just like they got rid of all the rest of the monarchs in, uh, in Europe. Uh, Bohemian Grove, Bohemian Grove is a very Catholic place and uh, Lizard Beth shows up there too to eat women and children and sacrifice to uh, uh, their deities. So they sacrifice, it's, a, it's witchcraft, it's uh, quantum mechanics, their intent goes into uh, the bones and the blood of the people and it collapses and it manifests into the reality according to Tim Rathbat, um who was a witch hired, uh, who was, uh, sorry, an occultist hired to create wars for, uh, they say Britain, but they never talk about the Jesuits, so I'm going to call everybody on that who thinks that they're an expert because they always say the Jews, well, because the New Age agenda is going to um, want to slaughter the Jews again, that's why they're 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 setting them up to have everybody pissed off at them. So I have to stick up for you. Anyway, talking about Lizard Beth, she's a pawn. Sure, she's nothing. Remember, white men rule the world. Evil white sodomite homosexual men rule the world. And these are the high Jesuits and their high Knights of Malta and the high Freemasons. They rule. And these women who are involved are just pawns in their game, like the Queen, like the Queen of Holland, just to give the appearance that these nations have a sovereign monarch, when in fact they're just tools. England has done some awful terrible things, but all the things that they have done increase and benefit the Jesuit order. They never resisted Napoleon III. Napoleon III was a fanatical Roman Catholic Freemason, subject to the Jesuits who was the king, uh, who was the king of France for 18 years, the Second Empire. Going on to page 20 of the Pope, of Black Pope. Um, excerpt. The Jesuits uh, thoroughly humiliated the papal see. They used their uh, French soldiers to overturn St. Peter's chair and they found written in Arabic there is no other God but Allah and Mohammed is his prophet and that is what is under St. Peter's chair today and that was stolen 
by some caliph during the crusade so uh, it's it's a mockery of the Muslim faith any pope who resists uh, them gets punished or murdered yeah and that was Pope Pius the ninth was punished and murdered uh, it's interesting what are they talking about here Papa Doc who's Papa Doc Pope Pius the ninth Papa Doc expelled the Jew, uh, Jesuits from Haiti. No kidding. Aristide, uh, a member of the Council on Foreign Relations and a complete pawn of the Pope and the Jesuits. See how the U.S. government uses its military, political, and financial power to maintain the temporal power of the Pope. Uh, Martin says, no. Do you see coming up soon in Israel some of these powers coming head to head over rebuilding Solomon's Temple? Do you see some conflicts with the powers that be? And then Phelps goes on to say, the creation of the nation of Israel, World War I prepared the land for the people, World War II prepared the people for the land, World War III, the Battle of Armageddon will prepare the people for their Messiah with uh, national repentance and realizing that Jesus, the Messiah, is the Savior who will deliver them. Yeshua HaMashiach. This is, uh, this is why 2000 was, we didn't have too much um, exposure because everything's been inquisition we only had TV and, and stupid school systems to to brainwash us but this is all coming out so I can kind of read through this uh, there's going to be a real struggle with religions anyway uh, the high Masonic Rothschild controlled Jews uh, the very same powers who ruined the nation of Israel today Israeli government is uh, Rome controls Israel the Israeli government it controls the Israeli government through the Mossad and so what do we have? We have high-level treason and betrayal of the Jewish race and that is there in Israel today by their own leaders who are loyal to the Rome and the Jesuit order. Oh, I got three more minutes. So what's going on? What's going to happen? I believe with the Dome of the Rock, where, with the Dome of the Rock is that is that has got to be removed some way, somehow. Uh, it is on the temple site and it has to be removed. And if I was the Jesuit general, I would make somehow, some way, American bombers do it. Because I want to create universal hatred for the nation of the United States. And because in the United States, there are more Protestants and more Jews than any other country in the world. And we've got to kill all those people, says the Jesuits. Uh, but what better way to create a jihad, a Muslim fanatical attack against the United States, coupled with a Chinese invasion from the East. And that's what I think is going to happen, says Phelps. The Jews are not going to destroy the temple site because if they do, Rome will destroy their effort of rebuilding the temple. Because if the Muslims control all of Jerusalem, that temple will never be rebuilt and that will stay in the Jewish hands because the Jews, and rightfully so, need their own homeland. They're entitled to the nation and they haven't had their own temple to worship in. They're rightfully entitled to that. Uh, the Pope, so he can sit there and be the man of in the Antichrist uh, of the book of Daniel chapter 9 the assassination of Rabin uh, Rome the, ge the general the Jesuits general international intelligence community carries out the high level assassinations kills anybody who's against their program you just try it you pedophiles so anybody who's going to resist the Jesuit order has to be doing uh, this in a matter of religious convictions being protected by God and good men who are loyal to him. Colonel O'Connor, the American Pope is the Colonel of New York. He is the most powerful Colonel in the United States. He was uh, he is what's called the military Vassar. The military Vassar is in command of all the military orders within the United States. Page 21. Uh, talking about Spellman releases Lucky Luciano, the filthy, wicked, evil, heartless, spiritual bastard who compelled young girls into prostitution. Probably one of the cruelest things anybody, any man could do. He released, he is released and sent back to Rome. Uh, when the Kennedy assassination comes up, the cardinal needs a favor, and after all, he's released to Luciano. Now the mafia gets gets the, uh, to participate, uh, and then all the commissions, you know. Wow. I'm going to run out of time. I'll be back. See ya. Don't buy into the pedophile post.